Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another mukbang, a Monday mukbang or mukbang, however you like to say it. I'm very confused. Some people I was like, what day of the week is it? <laughs> this is Sunday. We're shooting it on Sunday to put up on Monday. I'm so confused. Welcome back to the show, buddy. Thank you. People have been asking about you like nonstop. Where's Paul? What have oh, you done with him? Have you killed him? Yes. yes. And uh, Paul's still recovering from his motorcycle accident that he yeah. had in May. Yes. So he was rear ended Almost eight months ago. By a very large pickup truck. Yes. And uh, but yeah, I'm that's still all. Alive and, and you're still alive. <laughs> Uh, but he still has I'm, I'm having issues, issues, vertigo and vertigo yeah, and balance and missing teeth, missing teeth, <laughs> all the fun stuff. Oh my gosh. So Paul is doing much better, but he's still suffering from a lot of issues with, uh, that results from yeah. a car accident. It just comes accidents. and goes at yeah. no rhyme or reason for it. So I asked Paul if he wanted to be in this mukbang, and he said sure. And uh, so this is another thing that was sent to me by Aki Aman. And uh, I guess I can't really go too close, but uh, he sent me a whole bunch of stuff from Japan. So thank you very much, Aki. And I'm glad that Paul's gonna be interested in doing this with us. So what we're gonna do is open up these things. This is called Max End. Don't know a whole lot about it, except the fact that it's really, really hot. So he wrote on one of them. He gave me three bat, three packages, and uh, he basically said these are really hot. Enjoy. But uh, here we go. I, it's, when, it was funny because he, I did, I did one thing, and then he sent me a picture of this. I'm like, dude, if you could send me a package, that would be great. Because I've he, never, I've never seen this before. Yeah, and then he he sent me way more than than I wanted. Uh, he sent me three. I just wanted him to send one of these, and he sent. Three of these and a whole bunch of other noodle stuff. So these are the very, very cool individual packages. Yeah, so you could put it in. Yeah, it's, it's, in this because it's like a styrofoam. No, it's funny. Is one side is a drain and the other side. Wait. Oh. <gasps> well, I guess we could do it this oh. way too. Doesn't matter. What, you, what you're supposed to do is pull that off and then pull this up and you put the hot water in. Oh, after, I see. After you yes. take this, reseal it and then you strain it. But we can just put it all in. Yeah. Into a... Because we're we're not we got bowls and stuff. Oh. So it's your typical ramen noodle. <laughs> Looks like a, a big Rice Krispie square. You can just eat it like that. Look at it. Well, let's add some water. We're gonna eat it like soup. We've got some cutlery because you, you don't necessarily have to eat it. Oh, look at I that. should turn it so it stays. Oh, watch your fingers. You know, best break it. Yeah, because we want it in yeah. the hot liquid. It's uh, got a, the way the bowl's shaped, the bottom's not. Yeah. Uh, it would actually work out perfectly in there because you don't need a lot of liquid. Uh, yeah, because it would just steam it up, kind of. Yes. So we're gonna eat it like soup, I'm thinking. Or do you want to strain it? We can we can stop the camera and strain it if you want. It's up to you. Oh, you're supposed to strain it and mix? Is that what the? Uh, well, some some people eat it like soup. Remember Mr. Noodles back in the day? You'd put the noodles in, yeah, your, in a you, big cup yes. and then you pour your water in and you'd eat it like soup, but you'd also eat it like ramen noodles. Yes. Because uh, when we did the something similar, we had just heated the noodle oh, and then had. Yeah. Put the uh, we call it the blood deck because it, looked yeah, like, it looks like looks like a blood bag. Looks like death. So we just have to wait. I think it. I think it says you're not supposed to put your chopsticks in, in your food. Like leave them in the food because it represents death or something. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, uh, and you're not supposed to also hand. Like if I pick something up and try to give it to you, that's I don't have glasses on, but this is. I don't see any uh, instruction, but it has picture. It does, but it doesn't show a time. I think you just eat it when the noodles are done. But it's all in Japanese, so we don't. It doesn't even have numbers. I guess it's using Japanese kanji. But maybe that's three minutes. No, that would be 450 milliliters. 480. 480. That's how much water they want you to put in. Yeah. Sorry, 480. So it's giving you and then pretty possibly exact three minutes. Yeah. But again, it's in Japanese, and we don't speak Japanese. Speaking of Jap Japan, I'm going back to Japan. Yes. In in uh, March, so stay tuned for some more food reviews. In Japan, I'm gonna be teaming up with uh, Critical East Japan, another Paul, another Paul in our lives. Too many Pauls, man. Change hey, your name on? or something. Had to be the year. <laughs> Had to be the year. I'm, I'm gonna put more in. It's like absorbed. Did you need want more? A little bit. Oh. oh. Too much. Oh. 
I didn't know that was going to come out like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so tell people about your recovery, Paul. People want to hear from you. Uh. Like, like yesterday <laughs> you had an episode. I had an episode and I have a feeling, I don't, it's, yeah. I was, we went to a boat show yesterday. I don't know if it's the lights and the amount of people walking around and just, I just got really disoriented and dizzy and yeah, just, I don't know. It's, yeah, weird, uh, weird stuff. Yeah. So like you were obviously wearing a helmet when you were, you were hit, but this, the impact in your brain getting sloshed, yes. uh, was, was done all this damage. Um, originally we thought it was, uh, the, the, no, we, we knew it was the concussion part of it, but the vertigo wasn't the concussion part of it. Yeah, so it, it was, was the equilibrium. In the, in the inner ear. Right, so right when you get struck from behind like that, that screws up the inner ear equilibrium stuff, and it's kind of like not in the right spot. So right. they do things where they put your head, and then they yeah, lie you back. Yeah, maneuver, there's a whole bunch of maneuvers. It's positioning to reposition the, the crystals that are in your inner ear. I never knew any of that until Paul told me so. I learned something. But the funny thing is, is that the concussion, like you don't realize, like if your eyes are open, your your eyes sort of are part of that navigation system. You right. Know? And so I can't stand up with my eyes closed. I fall over. I don't, I lose that. I need the, the visual to keep balance. What, and what about if, if you start to get dizzy, if you close your eyes, is the dizzy still there? Or if, if your eyes are only open, you're no, dizzy? No, it's better to, no, it's better to sort of try and focus. Okay. On something. Yes. Because I always say like these motion rides and stuff, they always say if you start to feel ill, just close your eyes and the, the, the feeling should pass. Well, if I'm sitting, I close my eyes, I'm fine. But if I'm standing and I close my eyes, I, I'm going to fall over. Right. So I can't, I can't position myself properly. I guess the best thing is to quickly sit down on the floor so you don't fall over. Or just, yeah, in, in a chair. And... All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Now, do we it put looks... this stuff in now? Yeah. Guess... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we should have put these in. At least this package for sure. The goodies. Mm. Uh, I'm... Hoping it from the wrong end. That would have been a good idea right from the start. Silly. Now this. I'm gonna put that in now. The deliciousness. I'd like to know what's in this. It doesn't say anything on it either. So, again, I think sometimes you can eat these like soup, and then sometimes you can just eat them like noodles and sauce. But I'm gonna eat it like soup. Put this in. So you're gonna put your little yeah. blood bag in there? The blood bag. How bloody is it? Oh, not as thick as some of the ones we've done in the past. Oh, it is thick. Yeah. It's thick. But this red. one's got more of a brown. Well, it's still reddish. Yeah, reddish brown. I remember the other one being more red, like brighter red. It's still... Did you... Oh! <laughs> Want to grab paper towels? <laughs> Alright, we got paper towels. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Cheers. To long life. <laughs> no more car motorcycle accidents. Ah. Oh, I'm just gonna put this out of the way. I wanna smell this. It has an interesting smell, like odor to it, or smell, or whatever you wanna call it. Huh. I'm trying to think of what that spice is. Yeah, it's hard to, uh, it does, it has a different, um, it almost has a, a cinnamon smell it has, to it. It has a, there's there's a different seasoning cinnamon. smell in that. I'm trying to think what that smells like. Well, here goes. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it'd be hotter if, if, you, if you strain the noodles and then mix, because then you're getting more of a potent. So we've kind of diluted. diluted. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, crikey. <clears throat> Aki is right. It is hot, man. Woo! Oh my lord. Oh. If it was, uh, I'm like, I better not get any on New Jersey. Get, oh, oh, oh. oh. So we're getting I was thinking about water. that. I'm gonna have to lift my bowl up a few times here because that's gonna slop. Yeah, it's hot. Try to try to pinpoint some of those spices for me. It's like, you know what it smells like? Um, clove. Do you smell clove? It's 
smells like cloves to me. Yeah, but almost like a blend of something. Mm -hmm. like definitely a, like a blend. Almost like, like almost like allspice, which has clove, like a, a blend of that stuff. But I'm definitely picking up that clove. Since clove, I the back. cinnamon, like it's got that something. And cinnamon, when it's mixed with other things, does it make it hotter or? Cause I've I've seen people put cinnamon in the stuff and, and um, brown the mouth, sugar. The mouthful of cinnamon challenge. Mm. <laughs> Oh boy, there goes the jersey. Actually, it's, it is pretty tasty. That's a spoon. Oh boy. Oh. See, I won't be able to, I don't know how long I'm gonna do on that broth there because the problem with heat, it's like with these chocolate challenges is that once you're hot and you're adding heat in, it just, it's exponential. Like you're just, you're on, when you're on fire and you're putting, it's like fire to fire and you're just like, so the hot water is going to intensify the heat. Oh. Is that what you're saying? No, just because you're already hot. To drink the broth, the broth is hot. Like it's, you can see, look at the color. And it'd be a lot hotter if we didn't, because right now it's, it's, you're lifting up noodles, you're losing a lot of, it's, I mean, it's coated, right. but if it was just the, the paste on there, because we've diluted this right down by I guess we leaving did. it in the liquid. But it's still hot, and I can just imagine how hot this would <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get itchy from the heat. Like the my, my sweat glands are starting to open to try and cool me down, which is making me itch. And because this is noodles, I decided to leave my teeth in. So. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I'm just because I'm not putting pressure on the right. I'm not chewing on the really. Container part. You just crush it with your tongue. It's funny because yesterday my wife had made a little stir fried rice. And I have, uh, at the restaurant, I dried reapers and made this powder. And my wife is addicted to it. And I find it, but she puts very little on, like she'll put on pizza. Like everything she's eating, she's putting this powder. And the reaper powder? Yeah. She's having it on everything. She's addicted to the, to this powder. So she put it in this, this, the fried rice yesterday. And then she put it on the table. I didn't know what was in there. And I put pepper sauce on top. And I started eating. I got halfway through it and I was just dying. And she's like, oh, I put the, the Reaper in there. I'm like... This, I, this is starting to hurt. It's, it's a nice burn, but it's like... It is attacking my tongue, and it's not letting up at all at the moment. Wow. And it would be a lot hotter if, if there was no... If we had strained... I'm going to drink mine. Just to add to the pain. It's actually minus 22 degrees Celsius outside, which is uh, with the wind chill, it's minus 33. So we're gonna put our heads in the snowbank after to, mm. to cool down. We stand outside. Oh boy. Wow. Mm. It Nothing is. like some good heat on a cold day. The flavor is great, though. No, it tastes yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's a, it's a really, a really Same good flavor. Same with the. Um, it's funny because the the um, the ground reaper. There's I know, and I know what. There's a, there's a almost like a floral flavor that's in it, just from the straight mm. reaper. That's it, it's an addictive taste. Oh, it's got like a a chunk of one of those vegetables, and it's very salty. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm thinking, probably one of the number one comments on my on my videos recently, especially if I post a picture of you or whatever, is when when is cooking review coming back? You know what it comes down to is Paul, whether uh, when he's like at least 95 to 100 percent back to <sighs> Paul, and uh, whew. so I'll try and keep you guys up to date. Thanks for all the support. I'm so glad you guys love cooking review. I was hoping to be back at it earlier. But I was sort of forced back into work through December. We were so busy, yeah. and it put me back. And now I've taken January off work because I meant like I just it was incredible. You don't think about things, but the condition you're in, you you think you're better than you are. You start to feel better, and then you start doing stuff, and then you realize I'm not better. I'm not better. And it sort of put me back by a couple of months. Oh, and boy. I was trying to, I guess. Well, still the whole thing is just to get better and yeah. well. You want Paul to be as 100% when he goes back to being Paul the chef in his kitchen. Uh, next 
Thursday, or this Thursday coming up, uh, Paul, Mark Andre, and I are going to Detroit, and uh, so stay tuned for that. So that probably will go up like ne the week week after on a Wednesday or something. Oh boy! So this video is going up Monday, and then I'm, I have to shoot <laughs> something else for for Wednesday's video. Friday's video is going to be, I think, the Ground Burger Bar, which you're wearing their hat. Paul's the only restaurant owner that like. Pimps out other restaurants. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. <laughs> you know what it is? I mean, people, you know, so like, oh, why do you do that? I'm like, because they're in the same business as right. I am, and I want to succeed as a restaurant owner. And but I, I'd like to see other people succeed, and, and so I always, if someone's and they're a gourmet, it's not like they're they're so far away from. It's not like your neighbor restaurants and. Yeah, I've gotten, and, and in competition with each other, he's here in, in Newmarket, yeah. and, and you're over in. Thornton. So I go in this, I, and he doesn't even know. Like I just saw, it's funny. I just bumped into Grant, and I hadn't seen him for a while. And I said, uh, I said, by the way, I bought one of your hats, and I wear it in some upcoming videos for you. He's like, oh, really? He's so happy. <laughs> so stay tuned for those videos coming up. Oh. I'm just trying to think if I'd ever buy this again. Cause it is. It is so hot. You know what? I wish That's... we would have, um, the one that I bought, to, to compare the heat, if it's, is this hotter, similar in heat? Uh, the only problem with that is you try one, then you try yeah. the next one, you're already on fire. Yeah. And so how do you say which one's really hotter? You just have to remember, I'm switching to spoon, because <clears throat> it's all like little pieces. It's starting to shake. Really, eh? Oh, you can see all the powder. Look at all the spices. Okay, my lips are on fire. Yeah. So I guess my number Good one job, Ken. recommendation is definitely to make it in this and then transfer it to a bowl if you want, but... Uh, well, if you really want the... I mean, this is hot. And if you're... Oh boy. For those that love heat and like the and, and will put pepper sauce and stuff and really enjoy the heat, have it like this. You you certainly get the heat from it and you'll enjoy it. There's a point when things are too hot and then you don't eat something and you're like, okay, like we just talked about the about half an hour ago about making a vindaloo and I put too much reefer in it and ruined the meal. <sighs> and then comments are like, why would you know I did yeah. it because I, I didn't realize well, I put three in, but I I knew it'd be hot, but I didn't think it we wouldn't be able to eat it. Like it and we like, after the third spoonful, you're like, okay, I'm we had to done. Bail. We had to bail. We had to bail on that one. All done, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Paul. I can't, dude. Oh, months on the couch has weakened me. <laughs> <sighs> well, <sighs> those noodles, Aki. Thank you very much for sending us those all the way from Japan. That was really I said, cool. It's very tasty, though. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm I'm on I'm burning right now, but it's yeah. not a, I'm, it's it's not like where you've eaten the pepper like a reaper and you're like you don't know what to do with yourself. It's hot. Got a bit of a, I'm just trying to think if it's enjoyable or not. <laughs> it, get, it, it gets to a point where like some people are so used to that kind of heat that they enjoy eating that like every day at lunch kind of thing. Well, the thing if you're eating hot all the time, yeah, you get used so. to it. I think I think my I've mellowed out because I haven't <sighs> been uh, I haven't had spicy and. and Wow. I've, I've, uh, My tongue is on fire. Woo! Aki, thanks for the pain, buddy. Thanks for the pain. All right, Paul, thank you very much for being in this Monday mukbang and, and uh, informing people, of, uh, giving people an update on your progress from the motorcycle accident. Some people like are, are new that, have, that just kind of joined the, excuse me, the channel in the last couple months, and they're like, who's Paul, or what's no, happening to Paul? I've had a couple of people respond through, um, like, reaching out through Messenger. Oh, nice. I just responded to uh, someone yesterday and was like, oh, wow, just asking how I was doing. And People care for Paul. Yeah. That's good. All right, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by today's Monday Mukbang on Sunday. And uh, if, you have a, if you have a chance, if you can pick up one of these packages, it's called, uh, what was it called? And Max End. And uh, give that a shot and let us know what you thought. If you've had it, let, get, let us know in the comments below what you thought. And luckily the word rear wasn't in there because then you know it'd be burning later. <laughs> Max rear. <laughs> oh boy. Well, cheers, buddy. Cheers. cheers to you guys. Uh, welcome Paul back. 
and uh, we'll try and uh, start back to the cook and reviews. Hopefully within the next couple months. I don't know. We'll see. We're getting there. It's uh... it's up to Paul, guys. It's totally up to Paul. <laughs>